In the winter season, around December 25th, the people celebrated the winter solstice. And so the winter solstice would come about somewhere from December 21st all the way to around January 6th or so. And so the people of the north would celebrate different holidays, have different occasions based upon the winter solstice. In the winter time, there is a period where there is no light. You are literally in darkness 24 hours of the day. And this stretches for a period of time. Now, could you imagine if you're living in Alaska or living in Canada or living in Norway and you don't have central heating and the cold is outside, it's darkness around you. People are dying from disease. It's a terrible time and, and every family would probably lose somebody or they would know of somebody dying from the cold and disease during that season. This is the winter solstice. And so when the sun starts to come out, the people now are looking at the sun as a life-giving force. And so during that time, a number of ceremonies were held in northern countries. In um, the far north was the Feast of the Twelve Nights, which stretched from December 25th to January 6th. Also in ancient Greece, there was the Bacchanalia, which was held for their god Bacchus, the god of wine and sport and play. The Romans had the Saturnalia for their god Saturn, their main sun god Saturn. And so you find during these times that the people held ceremonies in the north, they would burn uh, bonfires. The light was important, the fire, because the fire represents the light, the life-giving force for those who worship nature. Also in the north, they recognized that there was one tree that even that despite the cold would still remain alive, the evergreen tree, the fir tree. And so in some cases, they would take this fir tree, believing that there was powers of life within the tree, and they would put it in their homes, set it there and put a light on the top of it, or burn them in the front, or they would make mistletoes and put them over their doorways, a type of what we would call ta'wiz or tamima. It is an amulet. And they would hang the amulet over their doors, hang the amulets in their home, hoping that this fir tree that this so-called life-giving force would protect them from the danger of the winter. Number one, we understand that Isa alayhi salam, according to um, the different reports uh, of the different scholars in, in many religions, he was not born in the cold weather. History shows us that he was born during the warm weather. So who was it that was born in the winter season? What is that? Who is that character now? Let us become detectives and try to find out the answer to this problem. Number one, you have to understand this concept of Saturn, the concept of Bacchus. When they are portrayed by the different artists who drew pictures of them or the sculptures, they are usually portrayed as a heavy set man with a white beard. He's, he's coming out on December 25th which is not the birthday of Isa alayhi salam, has nothing to do with Christianity. It is the time of the, of the Bacchanalia and the Saturnalia. And he is representing riotous fun, drunken reverie. And so what happens on Christmas, the Christmas season, especially in America, people today are not even thinking about Isa alayhi salam. They're not even thinking about Jesus. They're looking how they can get drunk. Now this riotous occasion that was going on went so far that the Christian church banned it. And the Church of England, according to historical sources, actually banned it all the way to 1647. It was prohibited in England to celebrate Christmas because they saw Christmas as being a pagan holiday. This is an official position taken by the Christian church, the Church of England, who were known at that time as Puritans. What happened was an individual was superimposed. A name was superimposed. 
we hear about the name of uh, Saint Nicholas. Saint Nicholas. Now, Saint Nicholas himself is actually coming from the ancient writings of Beowulf. And in these writings, which are done in the Scandinavian region, we find the name Nick or Nickel or Nicker. He was known as a demon, the demon of the North. He was known as the evil spirit of the North, the name of Odin, the evil principle. And so in Germany and in many of the Northern countries, the people actually looked upon this so-called Saint Nick as being an evil force and they would tell their children in the winter time, don't go outside because if you do, Nicholas will come along, Nickel will come along, he'll capture you, put you in his bag and take you away. And so they used it as a negative concept. In Isaiah, in what is left of the Bible, in chapter four, in, in 14, 13, the devil is, is known as the prince of darkness. And it is an understanding that his throne the seat of his power is in the north. Somewhere in the north is the seat of power of this evil. And so the Germans also, when they depicted this Nicholas or this uh, Pelsnickel, as they would say, Pelsnickel in German, it means a furry devil. When they, when they depicted him, they depicted him as a man with red fur. He had red fur coat. And he was, his base was in the north, and he was the essence of evil. And the, the Church of England till 1647 took the position that this celebration could not go on. So what we are actually seeing is that the, the, the Christmas occasion was actually the time of evil. It was the time of the belief in the Saturnalia and the Bacchanalia. And because of this, they shifted the occasion to New Year's Eve. They shifted all of their feelings and their merriment and their evil to New Year's Eve. Now before we go to that, looking back at, back at Christmas, what is happening now in Christmas season? I don't know what goes on in Miami, but in the northern cities, on Christmas occasion, they, they put lights around and Santa Claus parades. Do you have a Santa Claus parade here? They have Santa Claus parades and St. Nicholas is outside and he's in the streets and everybody's talking about St. Nicholas and the poor children are taught that St. Nicholas is going to come down your chimney. Most people don't have chimneys in Miami anyway, but a 350 pound man is going to come down your chimney and bring you presents and keep his clothes white and red and go to all of the homes in the area and, and put uh, um, uh, presents in your stockings and, and, and put uh, uh, presents under your tree and then fly back out into space. And, and the father, the poor father, who sweat and toiled all year to get you the presents, gets no credit for the present given to the child. Saint Nicholas comes down the chimney, gives you this present, flies off into the night. And many of us were raised thinking, believing in this. Some of us would sneak into the night and look and see our father putting the present under the tree. We knew what he was doing anyway. But you went along with it and the people say, well, you know, it, it's Christmas. Don't you like to have fun? You want to stop the children from having fun? What kind of people are you? But what, is the, what are you teaching the children? You are using the name of Jesus, using the name of Isa alayhi salam, and you are using a figure who historically is the devil. The devil himself will iyadu billah. They are using his figure and he has now taken over the Christmas season. Christmas now to most people means materialism. You have to buy presents for your cousins and your friends and you got to buy about 34 uh, presents. And you find that most American people are in debt for six months after Christmas. Now where is Jesus? You get drunk, you fight, you lose all your money. The stores raise their prices. Isa alayhi salam is described as a very humble person. Most of the time he didn't wear shoes. Only one or two ch changes of clothing. A very simple person eating very simple food, fasting most of the time. You see what is going on? There are two streams now, a stream of polytheism, a stream of monotheism, 
And now the polytheism, the materialism is overtaking the monotheism and standing in the way and taking over our society. And some foolish Muslims coming along from outside of in their country say, well, I just want to be an American. Um, I want a tree too. So I said, one of the brothers said he had a Christmas tree in his house. He came for, I said, brother, do you know what the tree stands for? He said, no, uh, okay, I'll get a palm tree with dates. I'll, I'll make it halal, a halal Christmas tree. But brother, you have to understand what it means. You have to understand what it means. Number one, the prophet peace be upon him, name all of these things, the superstitions, the amulets, all of these type of things are the other stream which goes away from monotheism, from the belief in one God and takes you into another religion.